He's gonna stop and go get Bonnie or check on her. Hey. Maybe we turn ourselves in. They could kill us all if we keep this up. I'll go to jail, fine. But only after I kill her. Even if my client said bad things about the Queen, it's free speech. Doesn't mean she joined a conspiracy. The state's witness says it was Snow White's idea for them to kill the Queen. So what? Every kindergartner is taught not to jump off the bridge just because someone says to. And the dwarfs aren't children. They're adults. They have free will. They chose to do this, not my client. Charles Manson was convicted of conspiracy to murder even though the state couldn't prove that he ordered the slayings. Well, Manson already had a record. Miss White's record is unblemished. She shouldn't take the fall for the dwarfs' crime. They have blood on their hands. They should pay the price. And we all have darkness in us, but you have good parts in you, too. Just to hide the bad parts. So? Better than not hiding it. And yeah, I brought out that essay because I'm proud to be married to the guy that wrote that. I just want to be safe and boring and happy. You're not happy? Are you? I hope they all find peace. It's called a subperiosteal hematoma. Basically a bone bruise on your skull. Luckily the airbag helped diminish the injury, but we need to keep you here for observation overnight. Don't she leave her rest. alone here. We'll be right here. Don't leave her alone there. I have a feeling they bring somebody in to finish the job. gonna be okay. You don't know that. You feel good about this. Frank. She might die because of you. You said Bonnie's okay. You got your justice old lady. I didn't get nothing. Miller's dead. I said nothing. He's dead. Bonnie's the one suffering for it. Enough, Frank. You don't get to hurt her anymore. Frank, stop. Let's go. Being protective over Bonnie. You don't have a choice. Xavier will kill me. I'll kill you first. Oh. And your son. He wants her to tell the truth? What about what Bonnie said she told her? It's gonna come out in court. Oh shit. Were you ordered to lie at that inquest? I'll rephrase. Did any person or superior of yours order you and Officer Wagner to shoot Mr. Leahy that night? I was just doing my job. Who uh -huh. told you to murder Nathaniel Sr.? D.A. Miller? Objection! No bona fide reasons. Unburden yourself of this guilt and tell us who made you do this. I'm so sorry. Judge, stop this. Who ordered the hit? Contempt. Tell us, finally, who ordered you to kill that man? Okay. She gonna die before she can say it? Xavier Castillo. Again. She's strong enough, Frank. Dave Miller tried to move the transfer earlier to stop us. Xavier found out and changed the plan. We were pressured to do this, but it was my choice. I helped kill an innocent man. There are no words to say how sorry yeah, I am. Yeah, but he feels like shit because he I knows did. now he killed an innocent man or had a part in it. You want to give me? He's gonna be mad at her because she lied to him. It's gonna be worth the wait, I promise. Okay, now open your eyes. <laughs> Puppies! <laughs> Puppies! Oh, you need a study break. What's a better study break than a puppy party? See, you can't think of one. Come on, play. <laughs> <laughs> Puppies can make almost anybody feel Since better. Officer Gladys, if you like dogs or not. Ten million dollars is the most we've ever awarded a plaintiff in a wrongful death suit, Mr. Leahy. Stipulations. Boilerplate. But the headline is you waive all future claims to sue anyone involved in this case. Of the governor. We need time to discuss. He didn't want the money. He wants the governor to pay. But the only way to make her pay is to have Xavier say that she's the, the one that FBI ordered him to order the hit. Xavier right now. What about the governor? Xavier will turn on her. Does it make a deal? Get less time? Hell no. What are my options? 
We asked for a continuance to pause the trial and take the time to investigate the governor's involvement. Do that. That will also give the governor more time to doctor evidence, make it go missing. And even if you win then, there will be endless appeals. You or might not see death. a cent until you're an old man. I don't care about the money. Do you care about going to jail? If you were involved in any criminal activity related to your father's murder or D.A. Miller's, mm. that too could come out if Do we you know something. Suit. This doesn't end until we bury Burkhead. Channel Six has breaking He's asking to die or go to prison. Nathaniel Leahy Sr. Prison guard. Not Paul that. Oh God. And oh shit. And her partner were ordered to murder Mr. Leahy by Xavier Castillo. Gladden alleged that deceased DA Ronald Miller tried to stop shit. the shooting from happening by moving up Mr. Leahy's transfer time. Well, at least he's there. Get out. I didn't want you to hurt yourself. Get him out. Bonnie. Get him out. No. Sir, please. Come on, Bonnie. You can get through this. Just breathe. Whether authorities are seeking to arrest Mr. Castillo, whose father, Jorge, is in federal prison. Sources tell us investigators have no evidence of a connection between the Castillo family and Governor Burkett. Now there's one. I'm surprised as anyone that Xavier Castillo is involved in this case, but as I've said all along, it's my belief that Emmett Crawford was at the heart of this conspiracy to kill She's still trying to blame senior. him? Today's events have not changed my mind. My sympathy for the junior Mr. Leahy, notwithstanding, his insistence on my involvement is and always has been complete fiction. I thereby accept today's turn of events as a total exoneration. I expect the FBI will be releasing a statement saying as much very soon. I still think she's guilty, even after every single one of your defenses. So you're gonna fail all of us? I didn't say that, but I definitely don't think that anyone earned this. Maybe I should just keep this check for myself. Well, that was never mentioned as an option. Well, I didn't think I would be the only one to figure out this twist in this case. Who can tell me what you all missed? The queen did it. The queen killed herself? There's no evidence of that. I didn't say she killed herself. But she's the victim. Dead. Is she? OMG. There's no body. Explain. The, the, the case study, uh, it says the dwarves pushed the queen off the cliff, but not that anyone ever found a body. Meaning? She faked her death and framed Snow White. And that's the best defense I've heard all day. Mr. Millstone, come and get your check. Ooh, good job, Asher. Is this what? But Annalise does? Fakes her death? I'm ready. Okay, let's start with deleting your hard drive. Done. Now what? Collect your money, key card, and passport. Finished. Use the back stairwell and exit the building. A car will be waiting for you. We'll call you with further instructions. Hmm. Interesting ending to the episode. All right. So that was the end of episode eight. I'm assuming that the next episode is the mid-season finale, which I'm going to watch in a couple minutes. Um, yeah. So the governor is still getting away with it, unfortunately, but I'm hoping that at least in the next episode or in, by the finale, she will get what's coming to her evil ass. So, um, Nate is not backing down. I don't know how he thinks they're going to prove the governor had a connection with uh, Xavier. I don't know what Xavier is going to do. Like I said, the only way that they're going to know they have a connection is if Xavier says something. And, and then proves it. I think that's the only way. Um, and I just, I don't know. I think Nate made a mistake. I mean, I understand that he wants the right person to pay, but I think he made a mistake in not just letting it go. Get back at her killer, whatever. I mean, that's what they do, right? <laughs> um, 
So yeah, I don't know. I, I don't like the idea of the governor winning, though. Really, really pisses me off thinking that she'll win, and I don't want that to happen. Uh, I was happy for Asher. He's the one that won the money. Um, so I thought that was great. Uh, I still have no clue who the informant is that is dead. Um, I mean, the only one being a, a jerk is, is Gabriel and it's their apartment, but Asher lives there too. So it could still be Asher. Um, despite whether or not Asher is the informant, I'm still happy that he won the money. So whatever. Uh, I feel really, really horrible for Bonnie. I mean, she did it. I mean, she killed Miller, but she did it to protect her friend because she thought that he was right and that he was guilty. And I, I still feel bad for her, though. Why do I feel bad for someone who killed someone who was innocent? I don't know why. I mean, I don't feel bad for Nate. Nate shouldn't have blown up like he did. He had absolutely no proof. And he just exploded. And... I don't know, but I do feel bad for Bonnie, and I hope she does not hurt herself. Um, I think she's lost trust in Frank, so I don't think that her and Frank will work out. I don't know. I mean, she might forgive him, but I I didn't understand if she didn't. I mean, I mean he he lied because he was scared for her. He thought that she would kill herself, and he didn't want that to happen. So. Maybe she'll come to understand that when she gets over the feeling of betrayal and the feeling of murdering a man that she loved who was innocent. I don't know. That this, She's got a hard thing to get over. This is a big thing for her to move past. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know. But uh, I enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.